Welcome to Aramax Accounting Tutorial. This session will cover the basics of the software. Let's start by creating a new company. You can mouse click the button, or use the shortcut keys. The underlined letter in the button, defines the keystroke. In this case, press Alt C to click the button. Now start filling up your company details. These other fields are optional. If your company works with VAT, go with Yes. Now choose the financial year, either in English or Nepali. In this case, if I enter the date in English, the Nepali date is converted automatically by the software. At last, choose the drive and directory, where all your accounting data will be saved. Next enter your directory name and press enter. The company has been created. You can create multiple number of companies. This is the interface of the software. Now let's play with its workflows. Under Files menu, the option Company Edit. Here you can change your details as required. Move on to the Master Entry. We will go through each menu here, and let's start with New Account. Here you can enter your account heads, account type and its brief details. For example, your clients, expenses, assets, income, debtors and creditors. Let's go with marketing. And among the various types, choose according to the account nature. You can also add these fields on your choice. In this case, it is in expenses. You can also press the first letter to sort it quickly. Opening details means, if you have previous total value of the account, you can enter it here, and add a remark to explain it. Moving on to analysis details, here in these fields, you can place the credit limit or credit days, and also the grade of your account. These are usually not required, but it's an option if you need to. This section here is for grouping your account, according to the areas. These are default grouping values, you can change or add on your choice. We will learn that in brief in a minute. Here, add up your client's information, if you need to. Now use the shortcut keys to save. Here the letter S is underlined, so press Alt and S to save. Let's ignore the subledger option for now. And go for item entry. Here you can enter your products. For example, laptop. You can change the item code or use the software generated ones. And select the unit of the items. There are plenty of options available, you can add them if you need to. We will learn that later. In this case this is a pieces. And the item type, if whether it is an inventory item, raw material, or service item. For now it's an inventory. Add a description about your item, for example, i7, 6 GB RAM, and NVIDIA graphics. Press enter. It takes you to the go down details. Here you can enter the number of stock you have, of that item. Here you choose your go downs. If you have multiple warehouses, this comes in use. Below here is the sales rate. Here you can enter the value of the product. For example, if the product is sold at 80,000, and purchased it in 70,000. The software will generate the profit of 10,000 rupees. In the next menu, are the packing details. Here you can enter the size of the product. This is usually not required, but it's a facility you can use. To save, look for the underlined letter, Alt S. Or to exit, Alt E. Moving on to unit entry. Here you can add up the units, anything which is not included, such as centimeter. Let's go ahead and add it. Add another, inches. And another, pound. Here are the unit conversions. Now let's use the units we have added. Under item entry, choose your item name. In this case, dumbbells goes with pound. And without going into any other menus, you can press Alt S to save time. Next is grouping. This is a section. You don't need to edit, unless you really know what you're doing. Do not change the default settings. Now choose go down. Here you can add go downs or cost centers. For example, choose a go down and choose a go down name. If you don't have a go down name, you can always tag it 
using numbers, and enter the address of the go-down. These are optional fields. Then press save. Add another one. Go down to. Here I forgot to enter the address. So select the option and press edit. Enter your address and press save. Now, let's use the go down. Go to account, item entry, choose the item name. Under go down settings, you can see the options we just added. Choose the go down where your stocks are placed. If you have 10 items in go down 1 and 40 items in the go down 2, this is how you can define them. After go down settings, let's go on terms. This is the section where you can add fields to your vouchers, such as VAT, discount, service charge. Let me show you how. Go to transaction, sales and sales invoice. Here you can see the sales bill. In the bottom there is total value, but there is no discount option, or any place to enter your VAT amount. So enter your information. As for now we don't have any items added. So let's go ahead and add an item first. The item has been added. Now go to sales invoice and here you can find the one item we have added. Upright you can see the amount of quantity you have in your go down. Rate was predefined as we added the item, which was 800. So you don't need to type it every time. Here in the total, you cannot add any discount or extra charges currently. So to do that, go to Terms, Sales and Return Terms. Hit New, or the shortcut key Alt N. Type your desired headings, and select if your heading goes plus or minus. In this case, discount deducts the value. You can also leave it blank. Calculate on lets you select where the value is to be deducted from. Then choose your sales account and return account. Now, the discount field is added to the sales and sales return bills. Here you can see the discount 5% is added by default. After you enter your items, you can see the terms section is enabled. It will take you to the discount section. Now let's add another field, VAT, usually it is 13% and calculate on as previous total amount, sales account is VAT department. These settings are automatically adjusted for you. Here you can see the VAT and discount both is added. So now you can find both the options in the sales bill. You can change the VAT section to go above the discount field by changing the calculate on settings. Delete them if you don't want to use them, you can add them anytime. Same thing works with the purchase and purchase return bills. Let's ignore this options for now. Go to optional fields, sales optional fields is where you can enable or disable a text box in the sales invoice. By default, everything is disabled. Let's enable on the fields, in invoice means if you want this field to be visible while printing or not. If you select no this will only display in the screen, but not in the paper while you print the invoice. Hit save. Now go to sales invoice, do you can see the broker field has been added. This is useful to add extra information to your bills. Same thing works with purchase and purchase return bills, if you don't need these fields, disable them to save time. Let's move to analysis, this is very important part of master entry. This is where you can group your account in the respective order. In the party analysis, here you can divide your account in different areas. For example, add any area of your choice. We have added three areas for now, you can also add the different analysis group. Such as city. Go to analysis value and enter the name of city and select the city option in the group. Now let's use these groups. Go to new account, enter your account name, account type.
and in the Analysis Details sections. Choose your group and press Enter, then press Spacebar to select your analysis value. You can also select multiple analysis groups. Here we have selected area as New Road and City as Kathmandu. So this client is entitled to these places. This helps if we are viewing reports in a sorted manner. Now let's move to item analysis. It is just same things with the items. Here in the groups we will add laptops as the analysis group, choose its analysis value. Add couple of them as required. So these are the categories of the laptops. Now let's use them. If you want to add this item as i3, go to item analysis, choose laptops, and press spacebar to select analysis value. So the particular item was added as an i3 laptop. Let us add multiple items to understand it more clearly. Enter the stock details in go down and sales and purchase rates. Then choose the item category. Add another one to i5. Now let's go to sales bill and make a transaction, choose your bills whether it's cash, or credit. Here, we will make a transaction of each items, and save it. Let me show you a very useful feature. Here in the receipt voucher, in this voucher you can enter the inflows of your account. Select the account name, in this field you can add an narration. Any extra details of the account. Enter the amounts, and add another entry. So, the total value here is 6000, but if you want to delete only the custom duty here, you don't need to go through all the voucher again. Just click on the SN number. The red bar means the selected fields is removed from the bill. So now only the above entry will be saved. Now let's learn about the shortcut keys. If you press the button F5, a shortcut menu will appear. It will open another vouchers without going to the menus. This can save a lot of time. Now let's go ahead and save this. In the edit menu, receipt voucher edit, here you can find the entries and change them as required. Here is another feature, where if you entered your bill accidentally in the receipt voucher, you can transfer it into payment with just one click. When you save the bill, the previous receipt voucher will automatically be deleted as it was transferred to the payment voucher. In the payment voucher edit, here you can find a transferred bill. Now, let's learn about viewing reports. The section due list will show you the remaining amount of your clients. For example if you choose the area new road, then only the account that are linked to it will be displayed. This is helpful, if you have multiple people associated in different areas. In the bottom, you can click export to Excel button, it created the exact copy of your report into the Microsoft Excel. Also you can upload the report online so that you can view them in your cell phone. Let's view the report of the products, under stock, and stock register, you can check, the number of items you have in the go down. And in the sales, item wise menu, you can select the item and its each transactions. Also if you want to check the reports according to the party wise or group wise, select your group and select the values, so what this will do, is show you the number of i5 laptops sold. Now doing the same thing with party wise, select your client name and its items, this will show you, about how many times the items were sold to this particular person. This helps you view the reports in multiple ways. Now let's go ahead and view the ledger. Account ledger gives you the summarized view of the each account. Select the date and choose yes for item details. 
If you want to view the details of the items sold, each item sold will be shown here in blue color, the total number of transaction of this account is displayed here. This is it for the reports, we will learn it in brief later. Under system options, is where you can change the settings, these settings are usually not required to change. Here you can change the fiscal year, which we had added while creating the company. Next you can data backup to secure your data in our online server. Let's ignore other sections and move to user rights. Under user account is where you can change the login password. Also you can assign a new user, a manager. Add password and click save. Under user rights you can delegate the power to the particular user. Here by default the manager has all the facility to use the software. This is helpful if there are multiple users of the software. Here you can provide only the limited functions to each users. Let's move on to upload user. Here you can add your online account. To activate the upload option contact us. We will learn that also, in the next video. Thank you for watching. For more details, contact us at aramaxnapal.com.